Hi, welcome to Brown Girl Book Lover. I'm Leslie Murray. I wanted to do an Oprah scarf toss. Well, I imagine her doing a, a scarf toss. I, I channel my inner Oprah when I'm doing this. Um, I just wanted to talk about diversity in the publishing industry and what I've noticed this year and celebrate our, like, celebrate our literary renaissance. We are in a literary renaissance. Hey, hey, and I wanted to celebrate it. Um, I'm gonna read from this paper because if I start talking off the cuff, I will just end up telling you what I'm making for dinner. Okay, we are in a literary renaissance and this awakening has been spearheaded by black writers and writers of color. Recently, we have stopped asking or telling the industry to diversify and we started steamrolling the gatekeepers. Two snaps and a twist. <laughs> I've seen the awakening in we need more um, diverse literary, we need more diverse books movement. Shout out to that initiative. I've seen a lot of writers of color get published, a lot of workshops for writers of color. And I love that they're just like expanding the literary circle. We see this, um, this diversity, this renaissance happening and um, the, the deliberate call for diversity in fellowships, in literary fellowships, in magazines, and in leaderships. I think every week I'm getting something in my email about a call for writers to publish here and a call for editorial fellowships. And these, all these are important because it's giving writers of color a seat at the table. Right, but it's not giving them a seat at the table just because they want to. It's giving writers of color a seat of, at the table because we demanded it. We have been steamrolling the industry, and if they didn't give us a seat at the table, we will just knock the table down. Boom. Uh, <laughs> I see this literary renaissance happening in um happening just by writers of color doing the damn thing. Like, I love the Dominican Writers Conference that is going on for three years, I think. I love the Well-Read well -read Black Girl Festival, the Caribbean Read Festival. All these initiatives are created by writers of color deciding that they're going to create their own thing. And guess what? It has been tremendously effective, tremendously successful, and continue doing the damn thing. Continue to lift our voices up, continue to celebrate our own stories, and continue to create our own initiatives, right? Because that's important. Um, and also I, so I see the literary renaissance in the constant articles about the lack of diversity in publishing. Um, the New York Times just published another article about the lack of diversity. Man, I could have write that article. I could tell you that because when I finished graduate school in creative writing in 2011, I saw that. They, I were banging down on doors, let me in, let me in, publish my writing. And they're like, hell no girl. We don't want to hear about any black Caribbean girl. Now they're like, ooh, black Caribbean girl. Let's hear that story. I'll see you. Um, and we see it in just like the Latinx writers who came for, hey, <laughs> who came for um, Janine Cummins in American Dirt, right? And they like, I just want to say they dragged her rightfully so right and they drag the publishing industry as well and I love that I love that they're galvanizing we are all galvanizing together and we're all making it making the publish in the industry known and making any industry that doesn't represent us know that we are coming for you and we're going to you will hear our voices um we have to thank the allies, but we have to acknowledge they didn't act by faith and charity. They acted because we were bulldozing the industry and they either had to be steamroll or help us tear down the walls. So the allies who are helping, thank you for helping us tear down the walls. Um, all I can say is thank you. 
Keep breaking down those doors. Keep writing our own stories. Keep pushing for diversity. Not even in the publishing industry, but not even by publishing your books. We need diverse literary agents. We need diverse editors. We need diverse people who will make the books, graphic people, everyone. We need diverse voices. Otherwise, society is kind of boring. Not kind of boring. Otherwise, it's just really bland. Thank you, everyone.